All right, what you see here is a Honeywell model HF-810 mega turbo high velocity floor fan. It is 18 inches in diameter and this is a very powerful fan, I'm gonna be honest right now. For a Honeywell, it's actually probably the most powerful Honeywell fan I've tested. It's actually probably just powerful, it's actually very powerful compared to a um, pedestal fan. It's actually just as powerful as a box fan, to be honest, like the older box fans. So, um, yeah, it's a very impressive fan. I didn't really, I know Honeywell is a good fan, good, not good fan, good brand, but, um, for Forge fans, that is not ceiling fans, but, um, I didn't expect it to move too much air. I know that these were good air moves, but when I tested it, it actually moved a lot more air than I expected. So, um, yeah. This fan is from December of 2004. I'm not going to look that up to show you all. Like if you want to see, you can just look at the um, new fan video I did of it. But um, yeah, it's a very powerful fan. I, I got it for 10 bucks used at the um, consignment shop. At the same place, I got the Dominion, the Home Splitter, and the two code ups in the Dynasty Hugger. I got all those fans there. So this is actually my sixth fan that I got from there. Hopefully they have more unique fans coming in because that's a very cool spot. It's actually like five minutes from my from where I live. So um yeah. I was actually riding my bike today and I actually brought it back on my bike, but I had it on the handlebars. I wasn't riding the bike, I was actually just walking back with it. So um yeah. I didn't want to have to come back and get that figure I'd just pick it up now and just bring it back with me right away. So um yeah. Now, the story behind this exact, not this exact fan, but this, these versions, like this model of the Honeywell 4 fans, um, back when I was a kid, the boys and girls that I used to go to, they had one just like this, and it broke one of these days, um, I don't know what happened, I think, I remember it stopped working after, um, it fell down one day, so, um, they actually gave it to me, and since, since they knew I liked fans, they thought I could fix it. And of course it disappeared. I already know that my mom probably gave it away or donated it to Salvation Army. I know for a fan she didn't throw it away because she didn't. She wouldn't throw away a fan because she know what, She knows that I would have been very upset with her. So um yeah. But um back to this fan. Um and since I lost the original one, I don't know what happened to it. Um I have this one now, so it makes up for it. Think same thing with the um Lakewood right over there. Um, yeah, those are they're both major childhood fans for me. My dad actually has one just like this, but I don't know if he still has. I remember seeing it back in like 2010. I'm pretty sure he still has it. It's probably in his own basement. But I got I'll ask him if he still has it so I can have it. So cause I actually do want to, I actually would like to have another one. So um yeah, I can have like one up here. I could actually I could even send one to the Dominican Republic. That would actually be very useful down there. But um. Now I actually rather keep it up here, it'll be in a lot better shape. But um yeah. So um let me go ahead and start the fan off on low. Oh speed one. And this you actually have to push down just like the um Duracraft fans. And of course, it's not that it's not quiet, but it's not extremely loud at the same time. I do know that the newer Honeywell's are more quiet. I think that's what you do in this, make them more quiet. But I know that they're not the same. They're a little bit weaker. That's what somebody told me. It does make sense if it's quieter. It's not as powerful.
gonna go ahead and move it up to speed three. Spin down. So, um, yeah, I can't actually clean the blades off. I don't know if I said it earlier in the um, video, but um, two of the screws on the um, motor on the grills won't remove. They actually aren't like screw, screws that you can remove with a screwdriver. You have to use something else to remove them. So until I figure out how to get those screws off, I can't clean it off well. But um. Yeah, so that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come.